Yes, 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 okay. So, Rodney, how you doing today? I'm doing just good, doing just good, yeah? Yeah. How's things down at the pond? Oh, really cool. You like the pond? Yes, I do. At his home in Hicksville, ventriloquist, puppeteer, and owner of the Wonder Puppets, Mike Livy, is performing a comedy routine with his puppet, Rodney, for friends and family. Livy's interest in ventriloquism and puppeteering was sparked when he received a ventriloquist dummy for Christmas when he was five years old. He was a plastic dummy. Um, he was the old type that had the pull string in the back of the neck that made the mouth move. Uh, that was fascinating to me, having, uh, having moving parts on a puppet or a dummy. Um, when, I would, when I saw that, that just really sparked an interest. He was Danny O'Day. That was the name of the dummy. He was originated by a ventriloquist by the name of Jimmy Nelson. Of all things, why don't you like Chinese food? Two words. What? Duck sauce. Mm. Duck sauce. Livy honed his craft by sitting in front of the mirror in his parents' bedroom while listening to a recording of Edward Bergen teaching the basics of ventriloquism. While his first performances were for friends and family, it wasn't long before he took his puppets to school to show off in front of his peers and to partner with a classmate named Charlie. As he grew older, Livy began to desire more professional wooden dummies, but prohibitive costs forced him to learn how to build them himself. Around the age of 15, I started to build my own ventriloquist figures. And then uh, a, a local uh, magic shop opened up, and I talked with that guy, and I ended up starting to sell a few. Uh, so that went on for some time. And then as I got older, um, I went from using hard wooden figures, which they were fun to work with, but uh, they were hard to bring around because they were heavier. Uh, and then I started to experiment with softer characters like Rodney here, soft fluffy, cute little characters, uh, and then I decided to stick with the, these guys because they're not uh, nearly as expensive uh, to get, um, and they're much more appealing because at the time I was also do, starting to do a lot of birthday parties. So I sell seashells by the seashore. So I sell seashells by the seashore. Good. That was very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In 2010, Livy formed an entertainment company called The Wonder Puppets that provides puppet shows and ventriloquist acts at events across Long Island. It's kind of like magic in the sense that it's a form of misdirection. Um, when you're, what you're doing is you're speaking Alternate, alternating the different sounds in your mouth to make, say, the word um, uh, Peter or the name Peter. Instead of saying Peter, you have to you have to say the P sound to say Peter. But in reality, to do it in ventriloquism, you have to go Teeter, or you soften it to make it sound like Teeter, like that. But if you say it fast enough in a conversation, people will never guess that you're actually saying Teeter. You know, so Teeter Tighter Tick the Tuck of Tickle Tethers. That's crazy. What's crazy? Why in the heck would she sell seashells by the seashell when she could just take them off the ground? No, no. <laughs> Although Livy has won several awards at ventriloquist conventions, including Best Routine and Best Distant Voice, his greatest accomplishment is getting friends and family to laugh. When you look at him, he can, it makes it look like it's really coming from the puppet. I was just amazed about how good it was. Every time I see him, it just comes out perfect every single time. And he always makes me laugh. Living with him is kind of weird because he just does like these voices and cartoon stuff like all day and night. And it's like, Jeremy, I just thought of this great thing to do with puppets. Look, it's a top hat and this microphone mouth and I'm going to make it an invisible man. What would you like to say, invisible man? I ain't got nobody, nobody but me. That's right, you got nobody. You lost a little weight, very funny. Mike actually used Rodney to propose. So he brought in a suitcase into my apartment where I was, and I was like, what are you moving in? And he was like, no. And then he, he gave me flowers, and then he pulled the puppet out. He pulled Rodney out, and he said, um, had Rodney say, will you marry me? And I said to him, is this for real? And then he was like, yeah. And I was like, uh, so you want me to marry the duck? So he was like, no. And then he put the duck down, and then he proposed, got down on one knee and proposed. And, of course, I said yes, because we're married 18 years, and we have two great boys. It's used for, for egg rolls. Then why isn't it called egg roll sauce? It's a whole lot of fun to do. Uh, it's, uh, like, it's an extension of myself. It's something I enjoy to do where uh, it's the challenge of, of making up jokes. It's a creative extension of myself. Uh, I enjoy making people laugh and that challenge. Um, 
and that that in and of itself is very gratifying to perform and to see other people enjoy the performance. Yes, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yes, it is. A lot of fun. From Hicksville, this is Michael Corellis. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting no! <laughs> 